been Michael Norman, that man right there, is the collegiate leader. And boy, was his graduation from high school anticipated back in 2016, almost made the U.S. Olympic team in the 200 meters. This USC sophomore reluctantly credits his dad for pointing him towards this 400 meters. My dad, I know he's gonna say, I told you, I told you, I told you, but yeah, he kind of like, you know, you want to run track? I was like, sure. And then he's like, oh, you're gonna be a better 400 runner than a 100 runner, so you need to try the 400. And I was like, okay, but my coach uh, in high school is actually the one who made me run the 400. And it kind of just kind of went on from there. So now I have to give credit to my dad, but it's kind of hard to give him credit because he's my dad. So <laughs> when he sees this or if he sees this, he's gonna be like, I told you so. <laughs> okay, this is qualify qualification all on time, not by place. It'll be the top eight times over these four heats. And the idea is to get the pole. Michael Norman out there in lane six hopes he does not see his competitors throughout this race as he races to get that pole position. Dwight, his 100 meter times in high school low indicated how great he would be. 21-7 for the first 200 meters. And he got torched on the inside there a little bit. That's Watch Kamari, this. Kamari Montgomery, who's a transfer from Missouri, but here comes Michael Norman storming back. And again, this is not a race for place. This is a race for time. Michael Norman is going to win the heat, but is he, he looks awfully casual to me. I agree. 45-55, though, very good time. I am confident predicting that that is going to be a time fast enough to be in the top eight for Michael Norman. And he cruised. He did cruise there. He uh, cruised. Jeez. And, and that corrected to 45.56. To show you how fast that is, despite the cruising, that is within a tenth of a second of what the World Indoor Championships were won in just held a couple of weeks ago over in England, and he cruised.